Hello everybody, what's going on? It's the Lemon King back here on Shellshock Live and we're back for another video and before this video even starts I want to thank all of you guys for tuning in so far and also want to bring your attention to something about the Minecraft Realm if you do watch the Minecraft Realm series, Minecraft Survival Season number 4. Right now the realm went down and is offline because the free trial is so what we're going to do is we're going to transfer it over to Nick. Nick is going to be the one who's going to be running the server. And until we can get Nick the server, we won't be able to get coming out. So, what we have to do is wait until Nick gets served. But I do have videos up until the 23rd of March recorded, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. But if it's not, if you don't see videos by the 25th of March, then you know we still don't have the map and this, the realm going again. And for anybody that applied, that's why your application has gone through yet. So I just want to let all of you guys know why that's not been happening. But if you're wondering what this is, it's a little different than what we normally will do on Shellshock. And this is how a lot of people level up their weapons and stuff, and their characters, and their tanks. So this is how everything happens. So this is an XP farm. So basically it's free for all, and it's points based. So what you want to do is everybody's going to get in the middle of the stuff straight up in the air, it'll hit everybody and then get maximum amount of points you can get and we'll be able to another uh, experience. So that is what we want to do, but right now we're trying, or most people are trying, some people are are trying to level up the playing field so we can get everybody in the middle. So that's the thought process right now. Everybody wants to get into the middle. So uh, that's why I'm gonna use my sinkhole. I'm gonna try to hit this area right here and level that out so we can get everybody together if we can. Hopefully we can. Hopefully. To get everybody in the middle. Right now they're at the bottom, but I can't get down the bottom. Let's try to tunnel this and try to knock out a portion of this. Right now we're not really going for much damage. Hopefully by turn 10 we can all get into the middle. But the struggles of the XP farm and how a bunch of people let me level up. Help everybody. Level up. So I don't know how... Why would you keep digging that into a hole? Why do people not understand how this works? We are trying to get rid of this I mean, the only thing I can really do is drop it. Hopefully it'll take out some of this. So, I can't right now get down this pit. <laughs> yeah, that's the one thing that's a struggle for me. I can't get down this pit. Hopefully I can. Let me down. Let me down. Let me down, let me down, let me down, let me down a pit. I just want to get down this pit, but I can't really do that because I'm stuck on a cliff. Man, this sucks. Got 272 points. Round 10, we should be set. Now we're in a big pit. So 
didn't do anything that round. But now we're in the middle here. And it's very easy to throw the static up and hit everybody in the pit. And then we're good to go. So this is how so you can see how much XP gets out of that and damage done through the system. So this is basically cheating the game. Now it does have a counter to it. When you stack up the game knows that you're stacking and you, the XP goes down. So it's not like completely full group. If you get into a line, then the XP will stay. But this is a good way for leveling up weapons, especially weapons, and it gives you a good bit of XP for your tank as well to level up to the next level. I probably will level up. So when you get the good moves, that's where it's that's where you can take heavy advantage of it. Now the counter you got. I got. Do I get again? Oh no, I got more stuff. Okay. Let's throw this out of the fire. Last last two times I played this, you only had one weapon, so apparently there's more than one weapon here. I didn't know that. Let's fire this on. Many of these should do pretty darn good. will do a ton of damage. So basically the whole objective is to just shoot it like straight up in the air and then have it come right back down on top of you. But you're you are hitting everybody else in here so it counters pretty well. Um, I don't know how much Driller does. I haven't tried Driller out on this mode so let's just The times two damage would be like killer on here. Let's fire straight up in the air. Let's see what happens. I don't know how much the drillers are gonna actually do. I mean, drillers meant to like just dig a triangle straight into the ground, but obviously we can't go down any further. Heavy. So I'm gonna use the earthquake. Horizon will do pretty good. Horizon's a good one that hits everybody in the vicinity. Uh, after that, I might want to do Rainbow and Waterworks are also good ones. Pepper is another good one. Stuff that doesn't just hit one person. If you get filled back up, you can just see it back into that pit. Let's throw a waterworks. That'll do a good bit of damage with the main one that spikes out of the top of the fountain. And the ones on the side will do a ton. Locked it. I can't even, I can barely even. I can't even like see where my thing is. So I just have to assume that I'm close to it. Cause zero. I got shot out in the best trying to get that thing. One bounce. Ow, 30 damage per, Ooh. Two more fountains in here. I mean, the, cl the close I can do it, like, like, like 0 90 is tough to get. What's this guy doing? Oh, he's going out of the way so he gets more XP. Okay. Hey, 
Okay, you put Bulger in the tray. Doesn't really matter. That's what Rainbow can do. Rainbow should be a pretty decent hit here. We're on turn 18 at 30 already. Like, you really can't tell how many points you actually have, but, you know, I'm just getting a quick P out. Look at the nice maps. Got some bounces. More damage from my rainbow. Why are people moving? There is no winning and losing in XP grinding, but at the end of this video, you will see how much XP I can this and you see how people can level up to... I play people level 90 some already. Cactus. There are a lot of people at high levels. And I'm assuming this is probably the way they get there. I mean, unless you're gonna play, I wanna see how many hours played they have, but this is the quickest way to level up in this game. Just saying. That's 375 cactus. Dug in here, up, dig down. Oh, thank you, Bounce Blue. Beacon Nazca too. Let's throw a bounce blow in the mix. Just keep bouncing off of this. It won't have enough power to bounce anywhere else. Just get that. Bounce blow did this. All the numbers. Why are you moving? Get back in the middle. No need to kick him. He's gonna sneak. Yeah, it'll just destroy yourself. I just try hovering over the middle pile, it just keeps giving me all kinds of different stuff. <laughs> Can't even pull out one person to look at their thing unless you move out. Oh, my! Banana. How much damage did everybody do? I don't even know how much damage I did. a boulder. Pop us back up. He's out of the mix now. He just has he can just fire down upon us. Not take any damage. Cheater. Cheater. Five seconds. Three off. Two one. Fire I get 
that's an advantage there. What? So, only have a few more rounds here to go. Rainbow does a decent amount of damage. I'm just trying to figure out like what to do the most on us. Zero. Sad face. Just build her, because then it's just gonna keep just jumping on top of every Backing up the points on that one. Might as well do it again! Get up in the luge, just build back up. Someone's gonna knock it down, so. Yeah. Heck of a lot of damage for me. 396 damage? Like, holy. Boomerang, we can just throw straight up. I don't know how much damage it does, but we can just throw it straight up and it'll come right back down and nail all of us. Let's see what Boomerang can do. What kind of power do you got when hitting a bunch of people? It's okay, who didn't make their move yet? Come on, someone. Where'd you go? Use a three minutes because you know, we have the power to just bounce it in here. Glock. Damage to that. Ow! Ow! Boy, a bunch of fours. We got lots of fours going on, and that's the ball game. So now you're gonna see basically whoever has the most points ends up the winner. Water wolf. So you can see how much XP you get. Now I'm level 36 with one tank token, and I get jumper out of that. Where's jumper? Right. Jumper. And now watch your weapons get upgraded. Keep racking up the points. Yeah, there we go. So that is what the XP farm does. Kind of cheating this game, but you know. Getting close to the top 10,000. So, anyway, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to leave a like. It would be greatly appreciated. And comment down below any ideas you have for other games or anything about Shell Shock if you guys want. And, of course, subscribe if you haven't already. And, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see all of you guys next time. Are you